Welcome to another episode of InRange. I'm coming to you today with something actually quite innovative and interesting from Desert Tech. And I'm thankful to Desert Tech for reaching out to me to provide me the opportunity to bring this to you, the viewer. So the Next Generation Warfare project was something Desert Tech started submitting some ideas to. And one of them was this concept right here. So we've seen in earlier videos on InRange and in some of our recent military US history that some of the military is moving away from belt-fed weapons like the M249 SAW and, for example, moving to the M27 IAR. In fact, there's a video on InRange about that. When you go from a belt-fed to a box magazine-fed gun, you obviously reduce the capacity of the gun and therefore induce more reloads, which then reduces the overall fire supremacy of the weapon. Whether or not that's a good idea to move from a belt-fed to a box magazine-fed gun is a questionable choice that has nothing to do with this video, but what Desert Tech wanted to do was try to solve that problem in a unique and interesting way. Every other quad stack magazine that's been produced so far has been designed to fit into a standard magwell. So for example, into a standard Stanag AR-15 magwell, such as the Surefire. And as a result, you've got this quad stack and then essentially down steps into a 30 round magazine style capacity gu magazine, which then tends to cause malfunctions because the migration from the quad stack to that double stack is where things tend to jam up. So what Desert Tech did is said, what if we just designed a new magwell standard? And that's what they're trying to do here. And you can see that this is a prototype. This is not representative of the final product, a prototype lower with their Quattro Magwell. This is, I have a um, MR556 slash 416 upper on this to talk about the IAR just as an example. So this is a lower that will allow any upper to snap onto it. But this Magwell is of course quite different, very large, right? And so the idea behind this is that this will take a quad stack magazine designed from the very get-go to be a quad stack magazine. In fact, a quad stack magazine that holds 53 rounds, but is actually shorter in overall size than a 30 round mag. Here's a 30 round mag, standard pouch, and here's one of their Quattro mags loaded with 53 rounds right here. Goes into a standard double mag pouch, will also fit in a taco. So in that regard, you just slam that in just like you would a normal gun. But instead of getting 30 rounds with a single load, you get 53 rounds. Wow. Mag out. And if you need a reload, guess what? Standard mag pouch capacity, boom, 53 round mag. open, no malfunctions whatsoever. And the reason for that is that this was designed to do this. We've tried using Surefire mags on the channel before and with dubious success. Sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. This being designed for the intention of being a 53 round quad stack magazine with a special magwell specifically for that purpose means that you can take a standard gun or an IAR for example, pin on this lower and increase your fire supremacy and your ammunition capacity dramatically, thus bridging the gap that's been now created between moving from a belt fed to a box magazine, magazine fed gun. Additionally, this magwell could probably go on to other guns. Why not put it on a Desert Tech MDR at some point, for example? But for now, this is a prototype AR-15 lower with the Quattro magwell, and these are prototype Quattro magazines. Let's go take a closer look at the mags. So here we are. As you can see, the Quattro, designed to be quad stack magazine, is actually shorter in length than a standard 30 round magazine. Of course, it's thicker, being quad stack, but it will fit in a standard magazine pouch without a problem. I have it in my loadout gear, as you saw just a moment ago. It'll also go into a taco, no problem whatsoever. That means every time you reload, you're reloading with 53 rounds, not 30. Of course, designed to be quad stack from the get-go, this reduces some of the reliability issues that have been problematic for other previous quad stack attempts. This is meant to be a quad stack. And the magazine well, as I described, is designed to accomplish that. Again, this is a prototype. It's not indicative of the final product. This is a concept right now. But as you can see, even with 3D printed magazines and their prototype lower, this is working really, really well. They will have an insert you can put into this magwell that'll allow it to take standard 30 round mags as well. So if you're having a Quattro magazine well adapted gun, put in the insert and then you can use 30s, take out the insert and go back to the quad stacks. 
that leaves it, leaves it legacy compatibility, which is also important. Ugh, it's hard to pull the, the trigger that many times. As you can see, that's exactly the point of this though, is to greatly increase the capacity of a boxer magazine like the M27 IAR. Real interesting project, real interesting idea. And this is only in its prototype format, just 3D printed magazines. And this is one of the prototype lowers that they sent me to do this video. So I'd like to thank Desert Tech for providing in range the opportunity to do this and introduce you to this uh, concept, guys, because it's very interesting. At the same time, I want to thank the viewers for providing all the ammunition that I just expended just to demonstrate that this concept actually works reliably, and it sure does. So each and every one of you that supports in range via Patreon is keeping this channel alive. No masters, no overlords, strictly the viewer, no advertisers, no sponsors. Just cool companies providing stuff for me to show you and you the viewer making it possible by providing the financial support to do things like expend this much ammunition to demonstrate it. If you'd like to do that, please consider supporting us on patreon.com slash inrange TV. And if you can't, even more importantly, just share with your friends because you can be the organic algorithm that YouTube is not for demonetized channels like inrange. Thanks for watching.